All right, so the next uh, item or the next element of our exercise is to analyze the balances and taxes by account. Uh, it is often the case where we will look at uh, our, our biggest um, debtors and see if in fact they are um, able to pay the accounts receivables based on history, based on who they are, uh, so that we can uh, continue to attest to the validity and the valuation of those um, accounts that are sitting in our accounts receivable. So for that, we're going to create a summary, which is kind of like another view. It's a summarization view uh, that will create um, uh, an extraction as well, if you will, on the side. So how do we do that? We start by looking at the analysis making sure that we're looking at the accounts receivable without any criteria. There's no filters, 253 is right. Uh, and then I'm gonna do a summarization uh, view of that it's gonna be based on, what are we gonna base it on? Gross amount, let me see. Let me see what the exercise is asking us to do. Actually, we're summarizing the account number. So we're gonna group everything by account number. So think of this as summary by account number. A, uh, think of a pivot table, right? And then we're going to use all of those numeric fields, both the gross amount. We are going to ask for this to be summed, um, and we're going to do a quick summarization, and we are going to create a database as well, meaning that you want the view to show up. So I'm going to use a create a database and use the quick summarization on the side. And the name of this is going to be called, let me go back to the assignment so that I can use the same name. Uh, so the name of this would be balances by customer, right? Um, so balances by customer would be the name of this. This file name. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Um, and basically that's going to give me all of those receivables grouped by account number. And I can turn around and say, well, let me double click on this and that automatically will sort it from biggest to longest. Notice that there's some that have a positive balance. And so we'll deal with that later. But for now, these are the top 10. If I wanted to select the top 10, or I could have then looked at the top 10 records from here. But for now, let's just leave this as is. We'll, we'll, it is already saved. So let's print screen it and paste it on our 2K. So what we just did is we just created a view by account and we are generating those biggest accounts so we can focus on them if, if that was the purpose of our audit. Thank you.